Thank you so much for staying with us here on your Friday. Another thing to look forward to this weekend, an annual tradition, is returning to downtown Mount Airy. Rocks and Runs kicks off tomorrow morning, and you still have time to get signed up. Yeah, so joining us now is Melissa Hyatt, who's the executive director of United Fund of Surrey, who's behind this event. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning, Audrey and Jackie. Thank you for having me this morning. We are delighted. Sure. We're excited to learn more about this event tomorrow. But first, can you start with the history of Downtown Rocks and Runs? Downtown Rocks and Runs started in 2007 as a kickoff to our annual fundraising campaign. It is a 5K, 10K that is held on our Granite City Greenway and through the streets of downtown Mount Airy. Um, over the 17 years, we've been able to hold 16 races. COVID kept us from one year, so we're, you know, off one year. But the event kicks off our fundraising season. We have runners that come from four to five states, averaging about 300 runners each year. Wow. wow, great turnout. Awesome. <laughs> Certainly a successful event. If you could tell us about Mayberry's Ernest T. Bass and how he's related to this event. Well, Ernest T. is definitely a huge part of Mayberry and each year we change our theme and it's gotten, you know, after you have 16, it's kind of hard to think of a new theme <laughs> every year. And we have a lot of more opportunity for music downtown than what we used to have. So we decided to move away from the rocks portion and I mean, from the runs and music and look more towards something else. And it was just an obvious thing to move to Ernest T and throw a few rocks. So we have a kids fun run that ends at, that happens after the 5K, 10K. So the kids will run their fun run and throw rocks through blank windows just to add a little fun to the race for them. Man, giving kids an excuse to be able to break some stuff sounds awesome for them. Uh, now, we do have to ask, we know obviously the uh, tropical storm Debbie went through a lot of people's areas yesterday, especially up there in Surrey County. Has this changed any of the race course have any impact there? If anything, it caused us to be more prepared. We did everything a day early just in case we were concerned that we might have some flooding along our greenway um, because it is beside the river. That did not happen. We received about three and a half inches of rain. The rain uh, spared us, stayed mostly to the east and a little south of 77. So we didn't experience as much as we did. So if anything, we're more prepared because we made sure we had everything done yesterday. Well, that's Great. good then. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we that we made sure that you were prepared ahead of time and that it's going to go off without a hitch tomorrow. And lastly, Melissa, tell us how the money raised over the years impacts the Surrey County community. The United Fund of Surrey um, serves on average one third of our population through 26 human service programs within our community. We have four primary focuses. One is youth and family, the other seniors, and then medical intervention and crisis intervention. So through those 26 member agencies, they provide a plethora of services. Last year, we served over 33,000 citizens. So this kicks off our campaign year with our workplace campaigns and three other fundraisers to follow. So we generally raise between 35 to $40,000 for this event. So we're excited. It kind of sets the pace for the K for, for the campaign. And our goal this year is $575,000 for the entire year. Wow. So definitely something to strive mm -hmm. for. I'm, I'm glad you have a great kickoff event and good weather for it as well tomorrow. Any last minute logistics you want to make sure people know about if they haven't signed up yet or maybe want to attend? If they haven't signed up, it isn't too late. Um, you have the website, it's itsyourrace.com. Downtown Rocks and Run is the name of the race. We will accept registrations up until 7.30 tomorrow morning. Um, we are at City Hall today doing packet pickup, t-shirt pickup. Folks can walk in there to register if they need to, but just very happy that we're blessed with beautiful weather and that we're being able to carry on as usual. Definitely. Thank you for your time, Melissa. Have fun tomorrow. We hope it's a great turnout once again this year. Rocks and Runs is happening in downtown Mount Airy. The first race will begin at 745 outside the Mount Airy Municipal Building. As you heard, registration is still open. We'll have this full segment posted on triadcw.com.